Good news, my friends, that God sent Jesus Christ to die on the cross for all of our sinners. Because the truth is, we are all sinners. None of us are, are holy. We all make mistakes. We are all born in a fallen world. We all have a fallen nature to do evil. In fact, we incline to do evil more than we do good. Because that is the fallen, sinful nature of mankind. But God sent Jesus Christ to redeem us from the curse from sin, so that we don't have to go to hell, but we can have eternal life. Praise God. There's a lot of those ringing, my friends, because when you leave this earth, when you take your last breath, you will go into one of two places. Where are you going to go when you take your last breath, my friends? Are you saved? Have you put your faith and trust in the gospel, in the Lord Jesus Christ, or are you perishing in your sins? Are you dying in your sin? Because a lot of people are waltzing through this life, very chill and like there's no worries in the world. But if you haven't been saved, if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour, then there's terror waiting for you, my friends, on the other side of the grave. Because we will all face the righteous judgment of God, whether we believe or we don't believe, whether we a Christian or an atheist or whatever, the wages of sin is death. That's the wages of our sin is death. So we are all dying. That's our wages. God is paying us to death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. So it's up to us whether we're going to perish or have eternal life. The choice is ours. It's up to you, my friends. God has given us all free will to choose good or evil, light or darkness. So at the end of the times, we only have ourselves to blame where we end up for eternity. Where our soul will spend eternity is on our hand. It's not up to anyone else. We have free will. We're not going to be able to blame anyone else on Judgment Day or point the finger. Because even though we are all sinners and in need of a Savior, God has sent the Savior. He has sent Jesus Christ. And He has died for you on the cross and shed His blood for the forgiveness of sin. Not just for me, but for all mankind. It doesn't matter if you're Aussie, if you're Arabic, whatever, if you're Chinese, Jesus died for everybody so that you can be saved. And he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one's going to come to the Father except for through the Son. So there's no way to go, my friends. The only way is through Jesus Christ. There's no other way to enter the kingdom of heaven unless it's through the blood of Jesus. Why? Because the blood takes away our sin so that when we stand before God, he sees Jesus. He doesn't go clean in God's eyes. When we put our trust in Jesus Christ, when God looks at us, we are clean because the blood takes away our sin. But when you die in sin and you don't accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you're going to have the wrath of God. You're going to stand under the, ju the righteous judgment of God for a lifetime of sin, and that is eternal hell fire. And it's not a place I wish for my worst enemy to go even for five minutes. So that's why we come and preach to you the good news. Because I would never let my worst enemy to end up in hell, man. So I come and warn you. Because I love you, my friends. So put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Oh, is it? It's too late. Because tomorrow is not promised. You're not promised tomorrow. In fact, you woke up today. That's a blessing. That's a gift of God, my friend. That you're breathing right now. That your heart's still beating. Praise God. That you eating his food, drinking his water, breathing his air. Praise God. But a lot of people take the grace of God for granted. And in the end, it's going to be an eternal regret. If you, will, if you take advantage of the grace of God, a lot of people shake their fist at God. But in every way, shape, and form, you abuse His creation. Take His life for granted that He's given you, blessed you, my friends. And Jesus only wants you to turn from evil and come to the good. Praise God. All these regulations, the law of Praise God. God. Love. Jesus said, love your enemies. Forgive those who do you wrong. The law of God is perfect. It's love your neighbor as yourself. So if you love your neighbor, you're not going to rob your neighbor. You're not going to murder your neighbor. If you love your wife, your husband, you're not going to cheat on your wife. You're going to commit adultery. Yeah. That's the law of God. It is love, my friends. But the world has grown cold to love. We have this fake worldly love, but it's not the true love of God. The true love of God is holy. It's righteous. And it, it hates evil, it hates sin. 
a nice to be a chief singer, my friends. I used to live in sin. I was bigger sinner than you were going to. But I put my faith in Jesus Christ when I came to the end of myself. What's the end of myself? It's when I had enough of doing things my way because it only led to death. Praise God. I was only destroying my life through drugs, partying, doing whatever I wanted. It led me to depression and suicide. God Thank bless you. I didn't take my life. God had another calling on my life, and he does for a lot of you. But, my friends, it's only through Jesus where you're going to find the true peace of God. Where you're going to find the true calling of God on your life. The true purpose of life, Lola. the meaning of life, is to know God, my friend. To know why you're here, why you exist, where you came from, where you're going to go when you leave this world. And if you have Jesus, my friends, he's going to never leave you or forsake you. He's your best friend. God bless you, brother. Because God is love, and he'll never leave you or forsake you. And that's why he sent Jesus to die on the cross. God doesn't condemn you. And Jesus says, I didn't come to condemn the world. I didn't come to condemn the world. But I came to, so that the world might be saved. Because we're already heading to hell, my friends. And God doesn't Bro. send anyone to hell. We're already sending Here, brother, ourselves to you. hell. How are you, darling? I've got something for you. I sent us there. But Jesus came to save Jesus the Jesus loves you, brother. Hold on to him. Into the sheep fold so that they might have pasture, life. And Jesus is that true bread from heaven. Because man shall not live on bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So Jesus is come, my friends. He's the true shepherd. The good shepherd who gives his life for the sheep. And he gave his life for all the sheep, my friend. You are sheep of God, children of God. Come to Jesus Christ today. Get saved. Because you might not be here next week. You never know what's going to be around the corner. I know it's going to be 10 minutes from now. So that's why your soul is so important that you have eternal salvation so that you know where you're going to spend eternal eternity. Because this world is the blink of an eye, man. 10 years goes like that. 20 years goes like that. It's a puff of smoke. The Bible says your life is a vapor. It's here one minute and then it's gone the next. Your life is just like that. It's a flash. Flash before your eyes. But whoever does the will of God abides forever. Amen. So my friend, if you want to do the will of God, accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. That's how you're saved. Amen, brother. It's about faith. Praise it's about the believing the good news that God so loved the world that he sent his son to die for you on the cross. He took your place. He took the punishment we all deserve for sin. And he gives us eternal life. He rose from the dead. It's the resurrection and the life. And whoever believes in him will never perish. Praise the Lord. Praise the so, Lord. My friends, God bless you. Jesus is love. And a lot of people say, yeah, I know Jesus loves me, but do we love God? Because if we love God, we're going to keep his word. We're going to keep his commandments. A lot of people say, yeah, God loves me. But they say they love Hello? God, but they don't keep the word of God. Take a look, my friend. And this is the hypocrisy of today's generation. We say we love God, but we don't keep the word of God. So if you love God, my friends, you're going to keep his you word, which is to love God with all your heart and to love your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus, someone asked Jesus, hey, who's my neighbor? And Jesus said, he gave him a parable. He said, there was a man, he was beaten up, he was bashed. He was abandoned on the side of the road. And some religious guy walked past and he's like, i got to get to the temple, bro. I can't help him. He just kept walking by. Another religious dude walks past and leaves him, blooded on the side of the road. But a good Samaritan, this is where the good Samaritan word comes from, comes by and he picks the guy up, he rushes him up, puts him on his camel, takes him to an inn to a hotel and he lodges him for the night. And he says, "If he, whatever he charges you, my friend, just put it on my bill, pretty much. He looks after the guy and Jesus says, who out of these guys was his neighbor? He says, the guy who looked after him. He said, Amen. Everyone is your neighbor. Everyone is your neighbor out here. God Jesus bless you. Says, love your neighbor as yourself. We're your neighbors. God bless him. It's not just about your residential neighbor who lives next door. Everyone walking around you is your neighbor, my friend. And the law of God is love your neighbor as yourself. Excuse That's me, Satan for you, darling. Society, and it's all about selfishness. It's all about pride. This generation has been brainwashed by media, by Hollywood, by the music industry. It's all about me. It's all about pride. That's how Satan is, my friend. It's all about self. 
Oh, about green. God bless you, young man. Jesus loves you. That is what's Do you have the destruction. Lord? He's in your heart, my friend. But Jesus says, Praise God. Hello, friend. Being selfless, <laughs> being humble. Lola making a That's friend. That's the will of God. That's the road that leads to eternal life. That few found. So are we working that narrow road, my friends? That leads to eternal life. Are we following Christ? Are we following the law of God? Because you break the law of the government, you go to jail, man. Hey, that's what happens. So you break the laws of God, you're going to go to hell. That's where the judicial system came from. The government is pretty much just a couple of Bible. Lola. That God is a judge. He's going to judge us for our sins. We're going to die one day and beat him. That's where the judiciary system came from. There's laws, there's a judge, you've got to stand before the judge. This is what society is built on. So on, on the Bible, on God. That we are all beings, we have free will to do good and evil. And God is going to judge us at the end of our life. And we have all, especially me, broken God's laws. And we all need forgiveness, we all need to be saved, a saviour. But God sent the saviour 2,000 years ago. And what was his name? You all know. His name was Jesus. And he paid the price, the penalty for our sin. That whoever believes shall be saved. It's all about faith. It's not about being in some religion, being a Jehovah Witness, being a Catholic. No. I don't even go to church. It's about believing in God in your heart. That Jesus truly Jesus died loves you. on the cross. That's it. Simple. Even a child can understand the gospel. It's very simple. That Jesus died on the cross for you. Praise the Lord. And it's the grace of God. What's grace? It means we don't deserve it. But God sends grace anyways because God is love. That we've got to turn from our sinful, evil ways. Because love does not rejoice in iniquity. Love does not rejoice in sin. It rejoices in the truth. So if you actually have true love, you're not going to love evil. You're going to turn away from your sins and put your faith in God, my friends. If you truly have love, Got this fake de satanic love that everyone can do what they want and be a rapist, be a murderer, and God loves us all. Hey, we all got to turn away from evil. Alright, even Jesus said to the thief on the cross, Hey, you'll be me with me in paradise. But the thief on the cross recognized his evil ways, that he was a thief, and that he deserved what was happening to him. But Jesus forgave him. That's the grace of God. He said, Surely today. Thou shalt be with me in paradise. So the grace and the love of God is very strong. But we've got to recognize the error of our life that we're sinful and we need a Savior. And Jesus is the well, Savior. Well, you, my friend, have a read later when you have Just a lunch break. I thought you can give it to somebody. He saw Jesus, he said, this is the God bless you, of God. young man. Hello. He takes away the yeah, sin thanks. of the world, the Lamb of God. Which road shall I take? Praise the Lord. The narrow so road which leads to you. life, which is Jesus. If you're depressed, if you're struggling in this life, struggling with addictions or sins or suicidal thoughts, whatever, hey, give your life to Jesus Christ. Turn away from your sin because Satan's destroying you. Hi. And without God in your life, it's going to feel very God bless empty. you. Jesus but loves you, Jesus darling. In your heart, my friend, Poor lady. Your life's going to change for the good. And that's what God wants for you. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to be blessed. He wants you to have a good quality of life. Here on earth, and then he wants you to go to heaven. Amen. But it's up to us whether we want God or whether we want to go to hell. It's our choice, it's free will. So don't blame God, don't blame anyone. We got free will, you choose. And a lot of people will blame God for their our own mistakes and errors. Like, it's, it's crazy. We all blame God for our own mistakes that we make. And we shake our fist to God, hey, God, why is this happening in my life? Well, we don't look at our choices that leads to our life ending up the way it is. It's our free will. But God wants to save us from ourselves because inherently we are our own worst enemy. And without God, we're going to be empty. And we're going to chase all the vain things of this world. Materialism, Jesus beauty, loves you. all the vanity, the beauty. But one day, you're going to die and all your money is not going to save you. Your beauty is going to fade. And what matters is what's in your soul, what's in your heart. Do you have the love of God? Are you saved? Are you born again? Are you with oh, the rest yeah, of the world? And the poor of to destruction? Because Satan has brainwashed the world. As the Bible says in the last days, yeah. that the world will be blinded by Satan, by the prince of this world. Yeah, I've seen videos of it, yeah. Lest the glorious light of the gospel 
shall shine upon them and give them light. And that's what I'm preaching to you. It's the gospel that gives you light, understanding to your soul what this life really is. It's a spiritual war of good and evil. And what you choose is what you're going to get. The Bible says you reap what you sow. So if you sow apples, you're going to get apple tree. It's pretty common sense, my friends. God is very Hi. simple. Did you ever read of that? If you sow evil, you're going to reap evil. If you sow sin, you're going to reap evil. But if you sow righteousness, you're going to reap good. Praise God. But all of us are living in sin, wondering why our life has got all these problems. It's because you're sinning against the Holy God. You're breaking the spiritual laws of God. You're wondering why your life's falling apart. It's because you, you don't have life. And that's what the word says. It says, whoever has the Son has life. Whoever has the Son of God has life. But whoever Praise does God. not have the Son has not life. So do you have life in the Son of God? And what that means is you might be walking around today, breathing, but you're spiritually dead. You're a spiritual zombie inside. You're cold. You hate God. You're dying. You're perishing in sin. As soon as you die, you're going to jump off the precipice into eternal destruction. But if you have the Son of God, you have life. Amen. You're walking in the ways of God. Hi. My friend, you're going to have a life. You're going to be blessed. God bless you. You're going to have into the kingdom Get to of know heaven. Jesus. But it's all about what you want, good or evil, righteousness or unrighteousness. There's only two sorts of people in this world, the godly and the ungodly. Hi. God bless so you. Some of the godly are outnumbered, but we're, gonna, we're hoping that's going to change because the gospel is able to save your soul. That's the power of the blood of Jesus, that it's able Amen. to take away the sins of the world. Praise God. You. From the inevitable hell, my friend. Only Jesus can save you from the inevitability. So put your faith and trust in Him. You're not saved by joining a religion, by joining some charity. You're saved by believing with your heart that God sent Jesus to die for you and raised Him from the dead. And that He paid for your sin, debt, in full. And that's why Jesus said before He died and gave up the ghost, He said, It is Hi. finished. In God bless you. It's been paid. It's a message of love and hope. Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. Get to know so him. Put your faith in him, my friend, and you will be saved. You'll have eternal life. Praise, Praise God. Lord. God bless you, little God. Jesus loves you, my friend. Hi. For you, my friend. I hope you are blessed today. God opens your eyes to the truth. God bless you. That this life is temporary. Follow the eternal teachings of God, my friend. It's going to lead Lola's you to everlasting paths. <laughs> this word is going to fade away one day. It's not going to be here. But if you do the will of God, you'll have life, you'll have bad forever. As the Bible says, the grass withers and the flowers fade. The grass is like the flesh of man and the flowers like the glory of man. The fame. The grass withers and the flowers fade. But the word of God abides forever. So whoever does the word of God will abide forever. And this is the gospel by which we post unto you. And the gospel is that Jesus took your place. He took your punishment. He took the wrath of God in your place so you can go free. So you can be saved. So you don't have to perish. And that's God's love that Jesus took our place and our punishment on the cross. It's, a, it's the beautiful gospel, the message of God. And some people, it's foolishness. The Bible says to some, it's foolishness. To the world, to those who are perishing, the preaching of the gospel is foolishness. But to those of us who are being saved, it's the power of God to salvation. And that's how God decided to save the world. By incarnating as a man, as Christ, and paying for our sins with the blood. Because there's no forgiveness of sin without the shedding Jesus of blood. Jesus loves you. So there has to be Have a, a life taken day. for sin. When we sin against God's Thank moral you. laws, a life has to be taken. That's why we all die. It's the wages of sin. But Jesus took our punishments so out. We can Young have man. eternal life. He rose from the dead. God he bless you. the grave. He defeated death because Jesus never sinned. Why? Because he's God in the flesh. He's yes. God Almighty, incarnate in the human form. Hey? That's why he did all the miracles. Walked on the water. He We're born the sick, again cast out the demons, raised the dead. Jesus said you must be God born again. God can defy the physics, yeah. the laws of nature. Because he created it. 
Because he knows right? That's what Jesus yeah, can do these things. Church, and he's done these things in my life. And he wants to do these things in your life, my church. It only takes a little bit of faith. That's why Jesus said the kingdom of heaven. Are you Polish? Are you Orthodox? Which is the smallest of your seeds. But it blossoms into a beautiful tree. Larger yeah, than all herbs. And that just takes a little bit of faith, church. friends, for the word of God no, to be No, we read our Bible, we pray to Jesus, the Holy Spirit leads us. Because Jesus said you must be born blessed. again. We have to follow Jesus. Hallelujah. No so church. God loves you all. No church building. We go with church. God yeah. loves We don't go to church everyone. building. We go to he hates church the church sin, he hates evil, but he Kaliba. loves everybody. Caliba. Oh, Caliba, oh, Cabramatta. I know the area, yeah. Is that where you're from? Oh, no, it's okay. It's a free gift. It's a free gift. Come and receive the free gift of eternal life today. Oh, the Ukrainian the church there. Today is yeah, the day of salvation. Is that the one where the, on the other side with the swimming pool? And this is what yeah, Jesus yeah, I know said. where that is. He in parables, spiritual language. He says, whoever yeah, listens to my words and does it, Jesus loves you, my I will liken you to a wise man who built his house so, on, the, so, on the rock. He's a beautiful Polish man. He loves Jesus so much. Hallelujah. God bless you, my friend. Amen. Have a beautiful day, my friend. God bless you. Amen. Go tell everybody about Jesus. You'd be like a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. You did? Oh, nice. Okay, God bless you, my friend. Lovely man from Poland. God bless you, man. Because it was not built upon the rock. And who's the rock? Jesus is the rock. Build your house. Build your life on Christ. The teachings of Christ. Which is love your neighbor as yourself. Love God. Don't do evil. Do good. It's not hard. Turn from evil. But the fallen nature of mankind, we love doing evil. We just lie. God bless you. We steal. We cheat. We want to commit adultery. We want to cheat. Slip around. It's our nature to the lusts of the flesh, the pride of life, to protect ourselves, our ego. But Jesus says, you have to be my disciple, you've got to pick up your cross and deny yourself. Follow me. What's that mean? It means death to self. You've got to die to your own ego. You've got to die to your sins. Pick up your cross and follow Jesus if you want to enter the kingdom of heaven. Because unless you do, you're going to go to hell. And that's not what God wants. Because no sin can enter Holy kingdom of God, my friends. God is so holy. Sin cannot stand before God. That's why we need our sins forgiven. And that's why the blood of Jesus takes your sins away. So when you stand before God, you're no longer in sin. It's all being washed by the blood of Jesus because you put your faith and trust in Him. God will impute to you righteousness when you trust in Jesus. You're going to get the righteousness of God imputed to you for free. And your sin is going to be taken away. And a lot of Christians think, yeah, I can believe in Jesus and keep sinning. That's not how it is. Jesus Hi. didn't just come to forgive God bless sin. You. He came to set you hey. free from sin. I used to be a thief, man. I used to be a drug addict. I used to be a gangster, whatever. I used to be the biggest sinner, bro. But when I actually got born again and got the Holy Spirit, I stopped hanging around with those crowds. God set me free from all the drugs, cocaine, heroin, meth. I was set free. Praise God. That's what the Spirit of God does. Sets the captives God bless free us. from sin. So Praise the Lord. Even in it because sin Jesus. leads to death. But Christ, the Spirit of God, gives life. Yeah. And that's why Jesus says you must be born again. If you want to enter into heaven, my friends, you must be born again. Sounding a bit muffled. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. That's what I mean. It means you've got to be spiritually reborn. God bless you. Into this Holy Spirit. Where you're going to live Hi. a righteous life. A God bless life. you. Alright, so God bless you. That's love. Jesus loves you, my friends. Don't wait till it's too late to get saved. Some people wait till it's too late. You never know what's around the corner, my friend. Life's not promised anyway. Life's a gift. Every day is a gift from God. So get saved today while you still can. God bless. Hallelujah. Don't wait till it's too late.